Bishop Dwanger's football team ended the year with the highest honor, winning the state title. Their opponent, Evansville Central, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dwanger, taking them to four overtimes. Wayne 15 Sierra Tufts joins us now with more. Dirk and Tara, good sportsmanship on the field is usually expected when playing a game. However, there's no rules to enforce it off the field. But that didn't stop the Saints from going above and beyond to help Evansville Central. This was a moment the Bishop Dwanger football team wouldn't forget, winning the state title after going into four overtimes against Evansville Central. But that's not the story we're sharing. Uh, an article was forwarded to me uh, through the Indianapolis Star that actually had an image of one of our players consoling one of their players on the field. That article details various hardships of the Evansville Central team and how two players faced homelessness. I just paused and I felt as though uh, who we are as a program, who we are as a school, who we are as a diocese, uh, as Christian people, that we needed to do something. So Coach Garrett put a call out to the entire Bishop Dwyer community. Is there a way that we could financially help the young men? Is there something we could do? Uh, maybe to help them or help the families that they were currently living with. Coach Garrett received a positive response with many willing to help and even a Dwanger player giving up a portion of his own scholarship to help. Tavion McGarry who won the uh, Mental Attitude Award was willing to uh, offer half of that scholarship that you know is provided to our school in his name uh, in the sum of $500 then uh, to help provide something for them. And there's our young man uh, consoling another young man at, at one of the greatest moments of his life and of our lives, taking time out to, to lend a hand to a young man who was, who was hurting. And uh, that, that's, a, that's an image of, of who we are, and so reaching out just seemed to be the natural right thing to do. And unfortunately, we don't have access to that photo, but Bishop Dwanger raised two $1,000 scholarships for those two players facing homelessness. One of them was in the photo that touched Coach Garrett. Everything about this story uh, just is so heartwarming. I, I love what the school did. Did the football program itself do something? You know, the football program was invited to the Colts game. They also made it possible for them to invite the Evansville Central to players that they raised the money for the scholarships for. Unfortunately, they were unable to attend, but still a great, great gesture. Yeah, great stuff. Thanks, Sierra. Yeah.